solar eclipse. It's the biggest celestial event of the year, and hours from now, millions will look towards the sky to catch a glimpse of this, the wow. rare ring of fire. It's amazing. Over 6 million Americans live in the path of annularity, and nearly 70 million within driving distance. And for nearly an hour, most of the U.S. will get to see the moon take a bite of the sun. Oh, but the biggest question, will Mother Nature do its part? The Weather Channel has you covered. We have crews spread all over the West for this spectacular solar eclipse. Our co-anchor Paul Goodlow is in Corpus Christi, Texas, where the eclipse could be shaded possibly by a little bit of cloud cover. Paul? Fred came through, kicked up the winds, dropped her. Second, but first, America's Weekend depends on the weather. I'm meteorologist Molly McCollum. And I'm Lynette Charles. And before we talk all things eclipse, let's go ahead and get a snapshot of our top weather stories for today. And once again, in the <laughs> Northeast, I mean, it is like a broken yeah. record forecast to the max. We have more rain starting off the weekend in portions of the Northeast and New uh, we start you up to the north there, and with that, we can see that that looks like the highest amount. The further to the south you go, you start to get out of the clouds a little bit more. And even if you're not in the path of annularity, October means clear blue skies and ideal weather for the annual balloon fiesta in Albuquerque. Perfect for the final weekend of hot air balloons and the perfect view for the eclipse. Our Jim Cantori is live in Albuquerque Truly. and a double treat for the crowd that's there. And yours truly. I mean, it's absolutely amazing being out. Solar eclipse is truly something to behold. And here in the United States, we get to witness two in the span of six months. The first, an annular solar eclipse today. And then, come next April, a total solar eclipse. The last time the U.S. saw one of those was in 2017. And some of the meteorologists that witnessed it reflect on the experience as we look towards the next one. Wow, I can feel the emotion, so I have the chills just looking at that. Whoa. All right, so millions of people will be searching the skies during today's annular solar eclipse, hoping to spot the ring of fire. Eight U.S. states are aligned on the path of annularity. But in some spots, cloudy skies may overshadow your view of the celestial show. So one of those places is Corpus Christi, Texas, where we find Arnie, who saw the total mm -hmm. solar eclipse back in 2017. Paul, what are you most looking forward to today with the annular eclipse? Well, I'll look to see how, how dark it gets because when I was in this uh, total uh, eclipse back in 2017, it was just a 360 degree sunset and that the birds and animals were, were very active for a, a few minutes. It, it's just mind blowing. And uh, that town in Nevada could actually have one of the best front row seats for the historic solar eclipse. Meteorologist Chris Bruin joins us now from the old mining town of Ely, Nevada. Chris, so how are things looking uh, this morning for you? I can see the jacket on, but how's that the, the clouds and the sky looking at this point? 